Hello and welcome to my quick socket I.O. tutorial. My name is Miguel Greenberg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with socket I.O. in Python and JavaScript. The focus is going to be on writing Python socket I.O. servers, uh, but we are going to use JavaScript socket I.O. clients running in the browser uh, as example clients to connect to those servers. And then towards the end of the tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to write Python socket IO clients. Uh, so, so this is more or less what we are going to cover. Uh, so uh, in this first part, we are going to write a very simple socket IO server in Python. So let's get started and install the socket IO package, uh, which is called Python socket IO. So let's get it installed. And uh, we are going to write a server in a file called app.py. Um, so we begin by importing the socket IO package and we create an instance of the socket IO server, which I'm going to call SIO. So this is going to be an instance of the server class. Uh, the the socket IO package has two uh, two server classes. Uh, server is this one, uh, which works with standard Python, and there's an async server, which work, works with async I.O. Uh, later, I'm going to show you how to create an async I.O. compatible server. Uh, in this part, we are going to concentrate on a standard server. So, um, the Python socket I.O. server works with event handlers. Uh, anytime uh, there is something that is interesting, the, uh, the server will trigger an event. And the application is supposed to create event handlers for the event that it wants to, uh, to react to. So uh, an example of uh, an event will be when a client connects to the server uh, or when a client disconnects. So those are two uh, predefined events uh, that are actually called connect and disconnect. Uh, those are the two events that we are going to use in this part. Uh, late, later we are going to use custom uh, or application specific events, uh, but for now we are going to concentrate on these two uh, very simple events. So uh, let's write two event handlers for connect and disconnect. Uh, there are a couple of ways to define event handlers. Uh, the most convenient one is to use the event decorator. So uh, we decorate a function with this uh, decorator and then the name of the function determines the event that you are handling. So this is a handler for the connect event, uh, which as I said is predefined, so the, the name is set by the Python socket IO package. And then uh, let's do another one for disconnect. There we go. So the, uh, the connect event takes two arguments. Uh, the first one is called SID or session ID. Um, this is a very important aspect of the socket IO protocol. Uh, the session ID is assigned to a client when it connects. So the, uh, the, the socket IO server will create this session ID, uh, which is a random string. It contains random characters. And then uh, whenever there is an event that pertains to this, uh, to this client, the, the SID value is going to be the first argument into the event handlers. So all the event handlers that, uh, that are for uh, for events that uh, belong to a given client will have the SID as a first argument. And this is how the application will, uh, will be able to tell who is the subject of an event. Uh, the second argument is called environ. Um, if you are familiar with the WSGI protocol for, uh, for web servers and web applications, then uh, you probably know what this is. Uh, Environ is a dictionary that has all the uh, the details from the client request. 
So um, this will allow you to uh, to see if the client sent any headers, any cookies, uh, maybe anything as query string arguments. All those things are going to be in this dictionary. And uh, the reason why it is passed to the connect event handler is so that you can perform authentication and authorization. So, uh, so in this function, you will be able to decide if you allow the, the client or if you reject it. Uh, for now, we're not going to worry about any of that, but, uh, but this is the place where you will do all of that. Uh, so for now, all we're going to do, we're going to accept all clients and all we are going to do is just print that we received the, uh, the client. Um, the disconnect handler takes only one argument, which is the session ID. And here we are going to do the same thing for now. So uh, believe it or not, this is a socket IO server. Uh, what we are missing here is we, uh, we now need to run a web server that can uh, that can expose this uh, socket IO application. Um, so uh, there are a number of choices. The, the most convenient choice by far when you write a traditional or standard Python uh, socket IO server is to use WSGI. So uh, what we need to do is to take this socket IO application and transform it into a WSGI application that we can connect with a WSGI web server. Uh, for example, Geonicorn, uh, which is uh, one of the most popular uh, WSGI web servers for Python. So to be able to do that, the, um, the Socket.io package has a WSGI app class that takes the Socket.io application uh, as an argument and basically wraps it into a WSGI application. So now this app variable is a fully compliant WSGI callable application that we can connect to uh, to a WSGI web server. So now uh, we can we can save this and just to make sure that everything works, let's go ahead and install install Geonicorn and let's give it a try. So Geonicorn, um, one of the requirements of Socket IO is that it, it needs a multi-threaded web server in its most basic, uh, in its most basic form. Uh, there are other uh, web servers that we will see later that, uh, that don't require threads, uh, but when you don't use uh, WebSocket specifically, uh, which we are not yet, uh, you need a multi-threaded web server. So we are going to say uh, maybe 50 threads and then we can specify what the application is. And the, the standard way in which this is done is uh, with a two component uh, whiskey specification. Uh, so you have to the left of the colon the name of the file where the, uh, the whiskey application is located and then to the right of the column is the name of the variable that is the whiskey application. So in this case, both are called uh, app. And that's it. So now we are running our socket IO web server. Uh, so uh, in this part, this is as far as we'll go. Uh, we don't have a client yet. So there isn't really much we can do until we write the client. But do not worry, that is the topic of the second part. So we will do that right away in the next part.